Explorations in Cyber International Relations, ECIR, uh, is a um, collaborative research, joint research program between MIT and Harvard. Uh, most of the activities and um, analytical work is being done at MIT, and some of the policy issues are being done at Harvard. At MIT, it involves uh, David Clark and a bunch of others from um, the uh, of other colleagues from uh, CSAIL, uh, including um, uh, 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 scholars that focus on encryption, on the security of systems, uh, etc. Um, Patrick Winston and, and others, um, and at the Sloan School, Stuart Madnick and and. Um, those that worry about um, ontology, business, um, how we think about the evolution of realities. And then at Harvard, it's the Kennedy School, the Law School, etc. So very multidisciplinary. And it's obvious when you put these people together, all of us together, we each see a piece of the elephant. Okay? And we have to agree what is the elephant. Let's assume we have an understanding of the pieces, what's, what's, what's the elephant, uh, elephant as, as, uh, um, as a whole. Um, so, as we built the elephant, we recognized that there was a lot of legacy from previous pieces of it, including the dominance of the private sector in constructing the internet. And it was, uh, you know, steered and funded early years by the U.S. government, but the players were, were uh, the technical players, uh, the organizational players, the, the, the the development of the funding mechanisms, the revenue generate, the, the whole competitive market, all private. Um, I think it's only within the next 10 years or so, last, sorry, last 10 years or so, that governments elsewhere uh, began to recognize what's going on here. And uh, the, the, the uh, pushback uh, began. And it took several forms. One form was, um, uh, trying to regulate private sectors um, in Europe and elsewhere. Another form was um, more collaborative. Why don't we all get together into the room um, and um, let's see what we can do about it. Um, and the third form was collaboration is great, but if we go into the room uh, if, uh, of a, uh, under the rubric of an international institutions, then we can all talk, but only the states, countries can vote. Uh, and if only countries can vote, that means that the, 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 the dominant uh, actors, which is the private sector so far, um, may blah, 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 but not vote. So there's also some underlying tensions about how we run our physical, kinetic, real world that um, are inconsistent with, with what uh, with the realities we're dealing with. In my world, in the world of international politics, the major players are countries, big entities, big firms, corporations, um, legal, illegal, etc. But the individual, he and me and Joe Smith around the corner, really doesn't matter because he's in, in the state system and has very little leverage on anything. And this is a technology and arena that has kind of empowered individuals, aggregations of individuals, um, in ways that has never, ever happened before. And not only in industrial countries, but everywhere, everywhere. And that's not exactly um, the kind of message that governments enjoy. And I, I don't have to point out the cases one at a time. <laughs>